Hi folks, welcome back. I'm making this one to uh, help talk you through uh, number 25 in unit 3-2. All right, so <clears throat> the idea in number 25 is we have this bar right here, right? Bar of metal, not where you go to get beer. And somebody's pulling on it so that it's sliding across these connection points. Now, bar, the bar is made of metal and if you pick a positive charge carrier in the bar, and again, it doesn't really matter if you pick plus or minuses, but it's pretty standard to pick positive. And you ask yourself, okay, this bar is moving to the right through this magnetic field. Um, you should easily conclude there's gonna be a force on that bar and which way. And that's gonna create an electrical current uh, and a voltage for that matter. Okay, now, um, The voltage we can get from this, all right, they give you a current and they give you a value of a resistance. So if you think about like starting here and doing Kirchhoff's law, you're going to have the voltage through the bar minus IR equals zero. That'll tell you how to get that voltage uh, on that bar. Now that voltage, right, that's an example of what we call an induced EMF. And by Faraday's law of induction, that's equal to change in magnetic flux over change in time. And if I start putting some dimensions on here, like we call this X, the area would equal X times L, and then times the magnetic field strength gives the magnetic flux now. So it's gonna be field strength times X times L. And basically now this can go here and group the X and the delta T together. And that'll basically get this done for you, right? Remember that delta X over delta T is the velocity. And um, that's probably pretty well enough. Um, power at the resistor. So power, remember, is you can either use um, I squared R or current times voltage. Magnetic force on the moving bar. I, gotta, I, I have to think about what they mean by that here for a minute. Magnetic force on the moving bar. Newton's exerted on the moving bar under magnitude. Well, I think what they're getting at is this. Right. The, this force right here is pulling to the right. But if you think about how this is going to, what's gonna happen here, all right, this is actually an equilibrium problem. This bar right here is moving at constant speed. It doesn't say anything about speeding up or slowing down. That means the net force is zero. So that's gonna give us a force. That means there's gotta be another force in this direction. And that force, I believe, is coming from the current interaction with the magnetic field. So that's gonna be an ILB force, I believe. Try that, and I think that's gonna get you through number C. Um, power is this force times the velocity to get the instantaneous power. And that should get you through that problem. We can discuss this in class if you're having trouble with it. I think that's probably enough on this. So everybody have a great day.